Greetings! This presentation covers Epicor Eclipse ERP ship via maintenance. So what's a ship via? Ship via describes a method used to get products from you to the customer. They influence tax jurisdictions, order print status, freight charges, cash requirements, invoice process status, order print status, RF warehouse pick and ship process, and delivery times. Ship via maintenance is accessed under the maintenance menu on the Solar Main menu. When you go to create a new ship via, uh, keep in mind that the name can only be 15 characters max, so don't be too verbose with it. And as with everything else, try and use a consistent naming convention to make things easier to search for. Default status. This is the status when you create the sales order entry, what it's going to default to when you select this particular ship via. The common default statuses are going to be A for ship when available, B for bid, C for call when complete, D for direct ship, H for ship when complete, S for ship when specified, P for pick up now, counter order. The more uncommon ones uh, that you're going to see, but they're available, are I for invoice, L for call when available, M for ship item complete, R for reserve inventory, T for ship ticket, W for call when specified, X for canceled. Um, these statuses, as I said before, are defaults. Uh, they can be overridden and changed when you're in the sales order. And in some cases, these uncommon ones are only un uncommon as, as ship vias. Uh, they, they are statuses that may be fairly common in sales orders themselves. The ignore cash required field does exactly what you expect it to. It's used to override the customer COD only setting when you use this particular ship via. Process status. This controls what bucket the money is going to go into while the sales order is in process. The I is, which is the most common one, the dollar value of the shipment is added to the AR when shipped. The T would be the dollar value shipment is added to unbilled AR until received by the customer and then you manually change it to I to move it over. Print status controls the invoice print control. The common settings are Q for send to invoice preview queue and P for include in detailed invoice preview report. The more uncommon ones are going to be N for no print, B for batch print, M for flag to place on manifest. And once again, the uncommon ones, it's not that they're uncommon in sales orders, it's they're uncommon to set in a ship via. Pick priority. This is kind of handy, and probably even more so if you happen to be running an RF warehouse. Uh, in our system, all of our ship vias are blank, when the blank is the highest pick priority. Uh, this, of course, is for expediting orders, so that which has the highest pick priority uh, would be routed to be picked and shipped first. Uh, since mine are all blank, they're all equal. Uh, so it's a useful option, but unfortunately not used by us. Branch demand override. This is used to transfer demand calculations to a different branch. Um, I don't know under what conditions you would want to use this. The freight allowed flag is used to allow or deny additional freight charges for the customer sales order that this uh, ship fee has been applied to. Tax jurisdiction. The tax is normally calculated based on the ship to address of the customer, although as you can see here with the ship via control, you're able to modify that behavior. Advanced delivery settings. This is used to define specific days and or times you may want this delivery shipped using the ship via. Uh, for more details, see the advanced delivery scheduling in the Eclipse manual. This completes the most commonly used settings in ship via maintenance. Now we're just going to do a quick review of the seldom used settings. The freight tab. This is used to automatically assign freight and handling charges, either as a hard dollar value or a percentage of the total invoice. The surcharge tab. This is used to automatically assign a surcharge as a dollar value or a percentage of the total invoice. Uh, you can also set uh, as a miscellaneous charge product that's added onto it. Uh, for example, cutting a real charges. Additional information tab. Associate equipment ID. This is used to associate a piece of equipment, normally a delivery truck, 
uh, used for this shipping method to calculate and amortize the expenses and be able to deduct the cost of the vehicle over time. This is set up in Equipment Maintenance, which you can find under the Warehouse Management selection on the menu. Sales Order Entry User Defined Documents. This is used to auto print uh, assigned shipping documents that you may have created in your system. Our particular system, we don't have any documents created. Uh, it pretty much looks like you're going to have to, if you have some special shipping documents that you want to have uh, processed, you're going to have to have an Eclipse Forms modification customization installed. Order and process statuses. This is used to set the stages that the order might be in processing. Uh, this is only useful if you happen to have the RF Warehouse Companion products, so most of us you can ignore. Web order entry description. This is used to provide an alternate description for the shipping method in the web order entry if you happen to have the web order entry companion product. Lead time days. This is used to pad the lead time a certain number of days when using this ship via. Disable RF. This disables the RF warehouse pick uh, ship process functions for this ship via and forces it to be processed manually. Place order on review. This is used to send to the open order status review queue. Bypass pick ticket print. I don't know under what conditions you would want to use this, but there's the option. Delivery info. This is used by the shipping manifest queue processor. Uh, see the Eclipse manual on that one. Credit card information. This is used for credit card pre-authorizations to make sure that there's enough credit to cover the potential freight charges incurred. Now we will quickly review some common ship via variations. Here are the settings for a bid ship via. Uh, I'm not showing the additional tabs because they're all set at the defaults. Here's the ship via for doing a will call order that's pulled and put in the will call area. Here's a ship via for best method, which is just a generic type of find the best method for getting it to the customer. Here's a ship via for direct, for direct ship to customer. Here's the ship via that uh, is used for the direct through stock process. And this is used for the direct to customer that's diverted and stored at the distributor warehouse. Um, we don't use the direct through stock process as it's put in Eclipse because direct through stock process that Eclipse wrote uh, cannot handle lot jobs and all of our direct through stocks are lot jobs. So we have a different process that we've conjured up. And that completes our presentation on ship via maintenance. For the most part, although ship vias have an awful lot of settings that can be done, really most of them aren't used. Usually you just have a very, very simple set of settings. Anyway, I hope this presentation has been helpful, and thank you for your attention, and as always, I am not Scott Zahn.